That's the word. I think you're, I mean, they call it decriminalization now, but it's not decriminalized. You know? Illegal. Illegal. Just decriminalized. Legal eye, yeah, everyone needs to keep their eyes on legal They do, they need to keep their eyes open. Okay. Absolutely. Pot helps you do that. It helps you relax, it helps you. Sure. It helps the glucose. So it turns into homeostasis and it kind of, it's like a mega three for the soul. It needs to be legal. Everywhere. It's Mother Earth. They can't tell us what plants to grow and which plants can't, that they're, that they're right as animals. Especially since marijuana has been around much longer than there has been human law, so... Uh, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. <coughs> they have no right to take that from us. I agree. It's time we reclaim. And standing out on a sign, like, may not do that, but it's at least bringing my awareness into the issue some more. And other people so that I can sit and meditate as I'm holding this on about what to do about it. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure there's millions more to the degree too, it's just they're not going to necessarily help themselves, which is the scary part. It's all sort of like this uh, chemical McCarthyism that's been going on for exactly. like Exactly, they're, they're profiting off of people's sickness. They don't want people to be healthy because oh, yeah. they don't actually want us to thrive, otherwise they're going to realize that like we're actually being mistreated. Oh, yeah. Instead, they keep us in poverty and stuff. Oh, military is property, too, like law enforcement as well, drug cartels in Mexico who look into that business as soon as uh, legalization were enacted both sides of the border. I mean, it's, it's, it goes beyond medical, it's in the military, too, as well as civil liberties. Yeah. They don't want it's it to be crucial. open. Exactly. Hey. Tax the medicine! Hey, Jeff. How you doing? Good to see you out here. And the, well, I'm, out, I'm out here today to protest the war on drugs in the... <laughs> marijuana. I'm here to protest the war on drugs and the prohibition of marijuana. I'm glad you are. here to free the prisoners who have been persecuted for wrong, yeah. just for marijuana use. That's ridiculous. Fill the prisons over nothing. <laughs> well, of course, uh, the more uh, there are prisoners, there are more uh, slave labor in a sense, and uh, obviously the drug war is very profitable, but... That's right. Because in order to fight a war on drugs, you must first fight a war on people. Then you must fight a war on substances, which is like fighting a war on dandruff. Then you, got, <laughs> then you have to uh, declare everybody a prisoner, and then once you decriminalize something, like marijuana, where the only side effect is ra raiding the refrigerator and watching The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> then you got a war on drugs. The best source of pain that we have in the United States of America, there is no doubt in my mind, and the war and it doesn't on ruin your liver, which makes it even better. Exactly. Well, it looks like we're getting into accidents in the uh, car, too. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And Absolutely. the war on drugs! <laughs> Cheer for us when we get on the sidewalk and back there. Yeah, over really? here's a good spot. And the war on drugs! Hey! How's it going? Pretty good. Good to see you out here. I'm here because um, I'm a very firm supporter of uh, legalizing industrial hemp. Hemp can be used to make every product that's currently made from petroleum, cotton, or wood. It grows faster. It doesn't take as many resources to grow because it doesn't need as much land and it doesn't take nutrients out of the soil. It absolutely is the key. It's the product that we got, we could use to revitalize our economy because we can make so many things from it so much cheaper and quicker. And it's better, better and for the environment. Yes, yeah, exactly. way better. So, so not the, the, no chemical. Uh, 
uh, treatments involved in this production too. When, right. when, when, when it does become legalized, it should remain that way. Exactly. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, America, you should. Well, yeah. Thank you, Canada. I'm so happy you're right next door, so I can ask you questions like this. Seriously? Yes. Hey, Canada, do you save tax dollars when you don't put people in jail? Yes, America, I save money when I don't put people in jail. But you don't be a job I have to break the law to get pain relief. Break, break the law. Rheumatoid arthritis. You're a criminal. Uh, it's the only criminal. law I break, and I will continue breaking it to get pain relief. So one day we're being healthy is going to be illegal? Yes. The drugs they want me to take cause my hair to fall off. I see sober people. My bones to crumble. <laughs> All those drugs are horrible. They're chemotherapy drugs. I'm not taking them. I just use pot. It's given me relief. She's a terrorist. She's a terrorist. She's a terrorist right there. Well, nature's a terrorist. You should a go pain, to Guantanamo. An, uh, almost pain-free terrorist. And I will continue to break the law. Terrorist. Because I need it. It's the only thing. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to take the drugs they want me to take. I will not take them. I took them for three years. I quit taking them. And now I smoke pot or drink it or whatever way I can do it. And I feel a lot better. Absolutely. And the side effects are so much better. I can enjoy music. I have a food taste better. The and the side better. effects yes. are the better. Yes, life is better. What drug yeah. gives you why is, side why is life effects? being so good illegal? What's that? What's up with that? Yeah, well, it's it's time to lo legalize life being good. Yeah. The medication is yeah. horrible. Yeah, the disease. Yeah, the effects of the side effects of all these the painkillers and everything. The methotrexate, it's worse than the disease. What is that anyway? What does that do? It's a, it's a... No more legal lies! It suppresses it's the immune system well, along with the steroids they want you to take. So if somebody's sick and comes near you, you're getting it. You get, Welcome it's, it's to America! It, the steroids destroy your bones so your teeth fall out. The methotrexate makes your hair fall out. And all the other drugs, they say right on there, this will shorten your life. If you quit taking them, and I have two sisters, they both also have rheumatoid arthritis. They both take a myriad of drugs, and they're horrible drugs, but they won't do the marijuana until it's legal. I choose to break the law. The only law I break. I don't even get tickets. I've never had a earth. ticket in my life. The earth should be legalized. Once I got a parking ticket and I thought it's the only law and I will continue to break illegal? it and they can put me in Why jail. Is that exactly? I don't care. If they try to put me in jail, I hope I have some on me so I'll get to have a platform to tell my story. Well, at this point, if they're going to put so many people in jail for taking medicine, then they have to downsize prisons. Or, or worst of all, they'll probably build more drugs. prisons, which is even more insane because it'd be cheaper just to legalize it to make it a tax uh, commodity. It's too sensitive. And too many people stand to lose too much money if they legalize it. Besides, you could grow it in your backyard, and then nobody's going to make any money, but you won't have any pain. I'm all glad you're out here. You are nursing student. Oh, well. Yeah, and you see like these opiate painkillers that are prescribed so freely now. You can get it for anything from back pain. And meanwhile, these are things that can cause respiratory distress. These are things that could you can get addicted to so easily. And no one gets addicted to weed. Like weed, like no one's ever died from weed before. Like. Probably the most gonna be psychological that it's pushing it. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. There's so many 
like it's so hard to get ahead in this world and there's so many people that rely on meat just to even put food on their table. Or even eat food too, especially if they're suffering from cancer. And then they give these drugs to all these people and they're in their medicine cabinet and all their kids are taking them and then when they can't afford them they're on heroin, which is cheap and so we have a heroin epidemic. I went to Lancaster, I know probably around 10 to 20 people that have overdosed from heroin or opiates that are my age. Who has ever overdosed from weed? Yeah. I don't think there's still been... Fuck people who say that weed makes you lazy. Fuck people who say that weed makes you stupid. I smoke weed every day of my life and I've held a 4.0 GPA throughout all of college. So fuck everyone else. Like, I know so many people who create amazing things from music to art. And science too, when you think about it. Yeah, even advances in sciences. Like, everything. Like, weed is just an amazing thing. It really, like, opens up and enhances your mind. And I would venture to say, if they drug tested everyone... <laughs> in the House of Representatives and the Senate, they would all, at least, I would venture to say at least 85% and probably more <laughs> would test positive. And that's not uh, counting those who certainly partaken of in the past. True. We're trying to get new green gingrich down here earlier. Then we got the ones that don't in here, but I don't know if that's that. Whether they've been hailed or not. <laughs> I think they could probably test the Buffalo Police Department Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't criticize it's medicine. Favorite shirts of all time. Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, at least it's not crap. <laughs> <laughs> all right, peace. International workers day. See, that's all city shops. Oh, okay. Yeah. That looks like a bomb. One of the major reasons why they uh, may illegal.